Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to subtract three-digit numbers using base 10 blocks. Now these problems will be without regrouping or borrowing. Using base 10 blocks will help us visualize and better understand subtraction. Let's jump into number one where we have 448 minus 212. So we are starting with 448 and we are subtracting or taking away 212. Now to the right of the problem, we have 448 represented by base 10 blocks. So 448 has a four in the hundreds place. So here are our four hundreds. Then we have a four in the tens place. So here are our four tens and then an eight in the ones place. So here are our eight ones. Now we need to subtract that 212. When we subtract whole numbers, we always start with the ones place. So we have eight ones minus two ones. So let's subtract or take away two ones. So one, two. How many do we have left? Well, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we put a six in the ones place in our answer. Let's move to the tens. So we move left over to the tens place. We have four tens, which has a value of 40, minus one ten, which has a value of 10. So four tens minus one ten. Let's subtract or take away one ten. So one. How many do we have left? Well, one, two, three. So we have three in the tens place. Then we move to the hundreds. So we have four hundreds, which has a value of 400, minus two hundreds, which has a value of 200. So let's subtract or take away two hundreds. One, and then the one behind it, two. So how many do we have left? We have this one and this one. So one, two hundreds left. So we put a two in the hundreds place in our answer. Our final answer, 236. Let's solve this to the left as well without the base 10 blocks and see if we get the same thing. Start with the ones, eight minus two. That gives us a six in the ones. Move to the tens. So four tens minus one ten. That gives us a three in the tens place. And then lastly, the hundreds. So four hundreds minus two hundreds. Four minus two gives us two, and we get 236 over there as well. But those base 10 blocks, again, helped us visualize and really see what's going on within this subtraction problem. Let's move on to number two, where we have 673 minus 133. So we are starting with 673, and we are subtracting or taking away 133. So we have 673 represented by base 10 blocks. A six in the hundreds place. So here are our six hundreds. A seven in the tens. So we have our seven tens here. And then a three in the ones. So our three ones right here. So let's subtract or take away the 133. We always start with the ones when we subtract whole numbers. So three minus three. So let's take away or subtract three here. One, two, three. How many ones do we have left? Well, zero. So we need to put a zero in the ones place in our answer. Let's move to the tens. So we have seven tens minus three tens. So let's take away three tens. One, two, three. So how many do we have left? It looks like we have one, two, three, and four. So let's put a four in the tens place in our answer. And then lastly, we have the hundreds. So we have six hundreds minus 100. So let's take away or subtract 
1. How many do we have left? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So our answer is going to have a 5 in the hundreds place. Final answer, 540. Let's solve this to the left as well. Start with the ones. So 3 minus 3 gives us 0. Move over to the tens. 7 tens minus 3 tens. So that 7 has a value of 70, and then the 3 has a value of 30. So 7 tens minus 3 tens gives us 4 tens. And then lastly, the hundreds. So 6 hundreds, which has a value of 600, minus 100, which has a value of 100. 6 minus 1 gives us a 5 in the hundreds place. So 540 over there as well. So there you have it. There's how you subtract three digit numbers using base 10 blocks. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.